let me guess, you are here because you're tasked to send an email from Power Automate, send an announcement, notification, or anything that includes an image. And you want to know how you can send an image in an email from Power Automate. Sure, we will get there, but before I start with that one, I have a tiny little announcement that some of you may like it. Last week, I hit 8,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for joining me. Whether you are a subscriber or not, you are part of this success, and I really, really, really appreciate you watching my channel and supporting my channel with your likes, comments, and subscriptions, and everything else. Thank you. And my way of saying thank you is giving out free course coupons. And because this is Power Automate, let's say I put two free codes for the Power Automate courses here somewhere on the screen. Take a look at it. They are only available for three days from the date that this video is published. So you may want to consider being on my subscription list. So when videos like this come, you can take advantage of those coupons. Now let's get back to the topic. In this video, we want to see how we can insert an image into a Power Automate flow and send it by email. I don't want to read it from somewhere else. I want to add the image directly to the flow and then insert it inside an email and send it out. So without wasting time, let's get into it. The exciting update about our company is that James Smith is our new CEO. And from the day he started, he was insisting to put his amazing picture as a part of the email announcements that they get out of our Power Automate flow. Typical CEO, what else do you expect? Anyway, we are the poor developers that we have to follow the instructions from our CEO. We receive this file and we want to work with it. First thing that we want to do, we need to put this file inside a variable. So we just go inside Power Automate. I created a flow called James Smith image email. And inside that, I created a variable called James image. And we need to pick the type image. Uh, if we don't have image, we don't have binary. Object is just a JSON object. Hold on a second. Ali, are you out of your mind? There is no such a thing as image. Well, yeah, but we can put it in a string variable, but how? First of all, let me just add my email here. So send email v2, scroll down. There we go. And I want to send it to myself, for example. Subject is going to be test email with image. And whatever that goes inside it, here is the thing. The send an email v2 accepts HTML tags. So with all the HTML tags that we have, we can embed whatever that we want here. All right. So if this is the case, let's go back to the basics of HTML. In HTML, this is the image tag. IMG, we define the source, and then we put the path to the image file, no matter what file it is. As long as it's image, it perfectly displays it on the page. So basically, the HTML file or the web page that we have does not contain the image. It refers to an image that is stored somewhere else. So when the browser reads this script, it finds out that, hey, there is an image. I should go somewhere else and get that content and bring it here. Well, yes, but we can also embed the image content directly inside that HTML page. I know it grows the HTML file size, but this is the only option that we have here. The main thing is that we can have our encoding here. So basically the content that we have, it can be the actual representation of the binary content in the JPEG or PNG compression. So this is the second way. We can have the SRC. We specified that this is the data. Don't go anywhere else. Whatever you need, it's right here. It's not in an external file. We specified that the data is image. We specified that the format is JPEG. Even if instead of JPEG, you put, for example, PNG and the content that you encode is JPEG, still it works fine, although it is slower. So basically, by putting this directive here, you are telling the browser that, hey, start compiling it as JPEG. Everything is good, so you don't need to dig into the formatting and see what is going on inside it. 
We define it as base64, and I'm getting there in a minute. And we put all the content of the image here. The main thing is that we have to encode it. The content that we have inside the image file, inside JPEG, PNG, or whatever the format that you have, is binary content with some characters that are incompatible with HTML and JSON. That is basically the core of our Power Automate. So we need to encode it in a way that it can be preserved in an HTML page or in our JSON file. So let's say we need the encoded text representation of whatever that is inside that image file. Once we have that, well, sky is the limit. Put the style, put whatever that you want, and the browser reads the image content directly from here. And guess what? Now we can put it in a string variable because now it is a string. And this string now contains James Smith's picture. Let's do it. I just need to put the image tag here. So let's say img src equals double quote, double quote. And inside it, I put data image slash JPEG semicolon base 64 and comma. Don't miss that comma. It's important. Let me just make it a little bit larger so you can see exactly what I'm writing here. So image src data image slash JPEG semicolon base 64 and comma. And after that, we need the encoded image that I'm getting there in a second. It's a good practice to have the closing tag. So let's go back to the original size. Now we need to get the image file and encode it. There are lots of tools that you can use for encoding, but the typical one that we use is a Windows utility that it's called CertUtil. It comes as a part of certificate services with Windows. And this command line tool has a parameter called encode. And it encodes the file to base64. Now you know what I mean when I say base64 here. So basically, it's a matching encoding. Let's see how this tool works. You just go to the command line. Inside this folder, d column backslash co, I have the file jamesesmith.jpg. And I just need to run the command cert util. And I use encode. Then I need to specify the file name, which is jamesesmith.jpg, and the target text file. It can be any file name. I just put extension text so I can open it with Notepad. That's it. Let me just run it. It quickly does the job. And now if I go to the folder, in addition of my jamesesmith.jpg, I have another file called jamesesmith.txt, which contains the encoded content. Let me open it. The content inside it looks a little bit weird, but that's OK. Right after begin certificate from here, you get the content to the end certificate. I just copy this, bring it back to my Power Automate, and stick it right after this comma here. Control V. It's huge. So let me just scroll to the top. And that's it. I just collapse it and forget about it. Let me just save it. We are good. Now that we have the image, we can stick it wherever we want in the email. So let me put the content of the email here. Make it a little bit smaller. And there we go. I can say, hello, everyone. This is our new CEO. OK. Thank you for watching. And haha. -ha. All right. I want to insert this image right here. I can put image, for example, or, or something that I can easily identify when I go to the source code. You switch into the code view. Pick up the location that you want to insert that image. I just take out this image. My cursor is here. I scroll down and I pick this variable that contains the James Smith image. That's it. I just save it and we can test it. Test, manually run the flow, test, continue. 
and run the flow. Done. Time to go inside Outlook and see what we find there. And this is our email with, okay. Don't worry, you may or may not see something like this. And in this one, you got lucky that I have this error so you can see how it looks like. Our work is perfect. There is nothing wrong with it. What happens inside Power Automate, sometimes when you paste a long string inside this string variable or this initialized variable, it doesn't copy it properly. Sometimes it removes something. Let's see, for example, if we examine this one carefully, sometimes from the end, there we go. See, now it is missing the closing tag. We can add the closing tag here and still, it may not work. So let's give it another shot. Let me just save it. And again, I click on test, test, run flow, done. Okay, we may or may not get lucky, but regardless, I will tell you what to do. Okay, I click on this one. Still, we didn't get lucky. Still, there is something wrong there. So let's do it properly. These are the typical issues that we see with this designer. It's not your fault and it's not your approach. The way that we do is we totally avoid this stupid text editor. So I just get the beginning of my tag, which is up to here. Remember that base64 comma. I just copy this. I bring it to the file inside this encoded file, and I just put it right in the beginning. Nothing is more trustworthy than our notepad. Again, I go to the end of the file. I don't need this end certificate. I just come here double quote, slash, and closing tag. I just mark it to the top of the page, to the beginning of IMG. Copy, I bring it back to Power Automate, and I click on Edit. I delete everything inside this guy, and I paste whatever that I got directly from Notepad. I just save it. And now I can test it, right? This time it must work because we use Notepad. And there we go. And now we have our CEO in the email. That was all about it. If you like our new CEO, just make sure you push that like button because if he doesn't see that much of love, he may stop me from creating some more videos for YouTube. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.